Hey, hello, my friends. We are bright and early, starving as usual. I am going to see if we can get this whole food situation sorted out. I'm really curious about uh, these gazelle or whatever they are. Are they white? Wait, are they white tails? I suppose this roaring fire in my hand probably doesn't do a lot of good. Now the question is, how deep? Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, it they, it, it is a white tail. White deal deer pelt. Sorry, goodbye, Moss. Goodbye. Well, not goodbye, book. Um, tell you what we're going to do. Ah, dump that, I guess. I'm going to drop the book momentarily so I can get some air. And I'm going to eat this fat. Oh, that's interesting. The book didn't float. All right. Let's get on up here. That was not very polite. Just remember, you attacked me. Ooh, that's going to be down a ways. There you are. We finally came across Whitetail. I'm so tickled you can't imagine. All right, I'm going to, oh boy, uh, drop those. Because right now, even though I'd love to keep that fat for other things, it is an extremely important food source in our current situation. Back over here, get that. Just put this in the water. Cricket. With that shiny new copper axe to use. We'll cook what we can with seven logs. And meanwhile, we're going to see what we can do with this white tail deer pelt. Ingredient for white tail deer head mount, rawhide, white tail deer pelt mount, white tail deer taxidermy. Takes a lot, but this this is really appropriate. Borax to treat the inside of the skin. Nails and strips to tack it. Acacia bark for preservation. Wow. 
got to say that's that's a pretty pretty accurate situation same thing for this um both my father and myself uh did a lot of taxidermy i did it mostly when i was young younger you know my teens haven't done it since but my dad did did fish burden and uh mammals of all sorts my pa he was a he was a different one that's for sure all right just see about getting that back up there, I guess, and get this book out of my hot bars. So I stop focusing on it. I'm going to get my phalanx in one. My bow should be in three. Axe should be in two. You should be in four or five. Actually, six, seven. You should be somewhere out of the way. There we go. Let's get some food in us. I really am trying to do my level best to do much better when it comes to paying attention to my food. There's more of them. And even though I'm crazy about hunting white-tailed deer, I'm going to leave them be. There was a big old buck, maybe, see if they gave us horns or whatever, but um, I've already shook him up enough. And it's good to know there's some place we can come and hunt a whitetail if we want. Not sure if we'd be able to turn this into jerky or not. Some people try to be very, very compat compatible with... Uh, other people's mods and some don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that up there and stick here and just... What the hell? I beg your pardon? Require for... Oh, they were in the fire. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I was going, what is going on? I just burned the crap out of myself. Completely forgot about the whole thing with the tongs. <laughs> ah, jeez. All right, well, let's make some tongs. Should be just sticks and ropes. Yeah, six sti sticks and a rope. And, well, look what we got. You know, I don't, I'd rather not use up my sticks. I'd rather rather just hang tight with that. We'll let it cool. But, nope, still hot. How about in the fire or anything? Yeah, we got one more, one more piece. Doesn't seem to be giving us much in the way of saturation, though. We burned through that pretty darn fast. So the whole point was I was going to put it in, in my inventory with a knife to see whether or not uh, we could make jerky out of it. Because if we make jerky out of it, I'd do that. That way we it's available for us to eat without having to set a fire again. And it's like four pieces of jerky from one piece of meat. So, of course, it takes four pieces of jerky to equate to one piece of meat. Come on, you, you calmed yourself down yet? Nope. Not sure if I got the patience to wait for it or not. I guess I'll gather some sticks and we'll make the, the stupid tongs. I mean, yeah, we need them later down the road, but right this moment it wasn't at all part of my plan. I didn't figure it'd be compatible, but it was worth a try. I 
guess I'll hold on to these for the moment. Might as well. Could come in handy again. When they originally added the recipe, they had done it with um, flax thread. And um, frankly, to think that, you know, people would always have it access to flash, uh, flax thread didn't make a lot of sense. Are you? Ah, yeah, man. So because they were panicked, they drowned. I'm not going to let them go to waste here. So yeah, he's he's too young to even have anything to give. And that means this one is probably too. Oh no. Wait till okay, so it is unique. Well darn. So yeah, it's basically the, the same situation. Um, let me let that pelt go. The meat I'll take. Let's get on out of here before we end up panicking any more of them into drowning. Run this way, cut this fox off. He should turn back for the shore. Oh, there's another wisp. I've never tried interacting with the wisps. They just seem to float there. They go in a couple of different colors and... Oh, there was that little bit of ruins in that iron crater, but... I think we're going to head back towards the coast here. And we're going to run up the coast a bit farther yet. I always like to have a little better idea of what it is that's right around me. So I wanted to go north along the coast, west straight out to sea, and south along the coast. But south along the coast we did on foot, so... So I got to looking around, and uh, they've now got some, some pictures posted of some of the, the more dynamic ruins from the uh, Better Ruins mod. And there's actually a castle that's larger than Wolfstone. I'd be so jazzed to run across it. It's got all these towers and barbicans and spires. and You can go check out the mod page. You can see what it looks like. Don't know what it is, but there is something right there. How far is that in actuality? Oh, it's a ways. There's something going on right there. Unless it's just these crazy hills here. I guess that could be the case. We'll know when we get a little closer. And... Yeah. Well, you know, if I hadn't have uh, settled in the castle, I think I'd have either settled on the island we were just on or, or possibly in here. It's very nice. That looks like it might have something going on there, too. I don't know. Hmm. Just a marker of some sort.
I was thinking as long as I got all this stuff on me, I might just build a fishing rod. But I guess I'm going to have to wait till I'm home. I think I do actually have to use uh, whole logs for that. But we got those worms, and we're concerned about food, and the whole point was to try that brand new fishing mod. I was so excited when it came out. Uh, a day or so ago, I did update the mods to their most current versions, and it did help with a couple of minor issues I was having. On very, very, very rare occasion, if, if the stars aligned and everything else happened just right, um, my task bar would become, or my uh, hot bar would become inactive. You know, maybe that is what I, what we're seeing. Certainly seems straight back that way. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I was hoping we had something else interesting going on. It's the fact that it's the same color as the the rocks that makes me think that it's more likely that this is some geological structure rather than a ruins. All right, I'm going to exercise some common sense. I know that doesn't happen very often, but it just so happens. And then I'm going to do it. Uh, there are some darters, some koi. We will have koi, and it won't be all that long. Um, I'm going to use some common sense. They are cheap and easy to make now, so I'm not too worried about that. If I can manage to get back to the castle before things get too carried away food-wise, I'll be able to combine the venison with the sedge, assuming there's a compatibility between the mods. That's all hard sedge. I could pull hard sedge and make a basket, but that's just more time, you know? Um, I'm going to just drop the grass for a moment here. Ah. I'm going to get going. I don't I don't want to get caught out. I get I get reckless want to get back I want to cook up a nice meaty stew with soft sedge it's 15 16 we should have plenty of time to make it if we're on on task with it
So I can make the kickboard. It's, it's a wrap that you basically float your chest on and kick your legs. But the thing is, it's really fast. I mean, really fast. Like, as fast as running. And so the problem is, is that when I get hold of one, I can go so fast that I go too far. You know what I'm saying? Just like, oh, man, I'm flying along. Let's see what's out here. And before I know it, my exploration Jones has kicked in and I've, you know, gone way, way farther than I should have. And responding at the traders would be complicated. Besides, I want to see what this looks like coming up on it in, in the distance, you know? Should be pretty cool. But I do want to know what is straight out to see from it. There's our lone tree out there. That is such a great landmark. Well, the water here, waters here are definitely warmer than they would be in, in the default settings because we're getting a lot of fish that normally would be shallow water or only that are showing up over here. I'm thinking I would be willing to sacrifice my current stone hammer to get just a couple more pieces of wood so that I could do the wood fishing rod. go you know directly west we know there's a little bit of land out there we've checked it down this way quite a ways so what am I seeing is that just the... Okay, it looked like there was something, you know, big and black like a bear out there. Maybe it's just the aurochs or just the edge, edge of the blocks. No, I don't think it's the edge of the blocks. Yeah, I think it's just an aurochs. to grow back that fast I will happily harvest it and we we'll, should not only be able to make some fairly nourishing food but make like five portions of it it feels a lot better having a door to just go in get some steps in there properly pot is probably still downstairs. Yeah, 
All right. Uh, let's see about storage. Get a few, at least a couple of things put away. Uh, I'll put those hides in there. We're not going to be able to use them for a good while, so we'll hold off converting them and just leave them as a possibility. And I'll stack this firewood on the pile. It stacks separately. Oh, no. Okay, that's right. This is regular firewood. All right. Need to make a crock. And we'll make that our next basic project. We'll see about putting together a couple crocks enough to um, add that one bowl we got left over and, and fill a pit. Five servings of venison stew. Are you compatible? Yes, you are. We'll create five servings of venison stew with boiled sausage. There we go. Should be good stuff. I could have been reckless and stayed out there and gallivanted and everything, but, you know, I decided in the spirit of my attempts to be responsible, it'll take it a good while to cook, but it should be plenty of food and it should be good food. Got those stewards someplace else, obviously. Well, you know what? Let's put the hammer and the wedge in there with the planks. I think that's a good call. I knew I had some somewhere. That should be plenty enough flax twine to make a fishing rod. And it's getting there. Looks like we're going to need a little more fuel, though. Looks like I had it right the first time. Let's take a look. Fishing rod. Fishing net. There we go. Wood fishing rod. Oh, so it actually takes rope. I expected it to take flax twine or something. So basically an axe, a knife, three sections, a log, and some rope. That's the lure mold and stuff from there. Chum. Put raw bush meat into the top left corner by itself, and it will come out as chum, huh? Okay, use that to attract things like black sharks, or bull sharks. Worm. All bamboo fishing pole. Sweet bad we don't have any bamboo now I don't 
know for sure I that uh, these hooks are from the Primitive Survival mod, and so I don't know if they're in any way compatible. I know that, that the fishing mod was made compatible with... Uh, the fishing, the fish, I should say, in the primitive survival mod, but who you are taking your time there, pal. Kind of surprised that it's taking that long, but it's going to be worth it. Should fill us up real nice. Just need a tiny bit of that so that we can be sure that that we're not going to go into convulsions here. Yeah. Boy, it is moving slow. I am so surprised by how slow it's moving. We're at twenty. We're at at twenty forty. So I think we'll get done right about in time to. To hit the rack at uh, 2200, somewhere in there. Come on, you. I am hungry. There it is. Thank you. down that's the stuff that's the stuff all right now we will not perish of hunger through the night Trapdoors, wooden slabs, granite dry stone. We need some some steps for that exit, I think. What I think is I should grab a piece of our twine and uh, a few of our planks and make a bucket so that we can set up a water source in the kitchen. Yeah, I know you're out there. But I've got a door. Bite me! I know you'd love to. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one.